so hi guys um good day everyone so today we're gonna do a reaction video facts and specifications explanation S subscribe to my channel okay so thank you for your support and you make me happier every day okay thanks for the audience and any newbie here click the subscribe button and hit the bell button and make sure to like this video okay thank you so pressing start we um so first of all we're going to talk about the generations okay so there are three generations the first generation uh, which debuted in 1998 to 2006 so eight years lifespan for the car and another nine years uh the second generation which is the outgoing model they launched that in 2013 and until present okay until 2022 or 23 it depends so but globally that car was debuted in 2013 and in Malaysia it took two years to launch here uh, in February 2015 okay and after that in 2018 they comes with a facelifted version which has a different tail lights cluster and headlights cluster it looks more refreshing new interior not the new interior uh, but screen updates okay material updates a bit here and there and yeah as you know the second generation facelift model has a famous two variants which is the hrv rs and the hrv hybrid okay so yep let's start and before that and uh, the competitors of this car which is the mazda cx30 or the cx3 toyota corolla cross okay, sorry not the suv and after that the, and after that the x50 okay which is a popular malaysian icon so yep and uh, that's that's only the competitors let's start about the reaction video of the exterior of the oh this looks like a mustang match e remember the suv oh look at the grills body colored nice and then they have the hidden door handles again this car looks bulky bigger the headlights look nice and it's an immediate response this looks like civic the newer generation Civic the slim headlights, the wheels hmm, not bad very nice huh? it's big, it's huge okay. it looks like a CX-5 crashed into an area <laughs> so, yeah that's, that's the vibe okay. and the roof line is more clean okay. surprising it looks like Taksa <laughs> the front end looks so clean I don't see any brick grills except for the body colored lines. Hmm. The rear looks exactly like the Harry, but it's a bit modernized. Okay. Simple. Pretty simple. Mazda white. The interior. Wow. It has a touch screen. Hmm. Nice looking interior. The seats. Okay, they're very nice. I appreciate it. Okay. So, yep. And of course, you have a additional aircon vents now proper that's proper for Malaysian weather oh the red color units look so good okay. mm. nice so after finishing the exterior reaction and now we're gonna jump to the interior reaction okay shall we fantastic we have the two-tone interior as well so delicious <laughs> yeah shocking you have a panoramic roof that's insane shocking as well the seats looks better okay in my in my video motion okay oh the new steering wheel exactly like the civic okay oh the touchscreen nice okay of course the hidden door handles one of the party pieces of hrv it became an icon to the hrv oh the 360 view mm, that's nice I mean, it looks so good. The instrument panel, okay. and there's a lot of drive modes. Mm, I see that, and there's no handbrake lever anymore. Now, after this, is the most important topic: fact and specs. Okay, so basically, this is the main factor for people who buying the car. Okay, so before I'm going to that, the badge Honda it speaks itself. Powerful badge, reliable. Excellent driving dynamics, 
resale value is fantastic Mal- in Malaysian market resale value is one of the good things because if you're buying another new, new car right resale value will help you a lot so that you don't need to come out with a lot of down payments money you know okay so yep I appreciate it and does this recommend it to youngsters of course okay this is an SUV it is practical bigger it's big than the X50 it's almost in the size of a CRV it's, it's, it's good okay and the benefit of this HRV is class leading space okay super Honda's packaging is one of the best and now we're going to talk about specs okay so the specs right um, you have a treatment called there's a three lines blue uh, red lines which follows a BMW clue hmm okay uh, under the grill okay the lines the body color lines it is a bit different it looks like a matchy mustang matchy and yeah fantastic okay and after that you have a diamond grill patterns which exactly looks like a cx5 mesh patterns green okay it is more or less beautiful okay. it is both beautiful moderate and at the same time serves practical function okay. it is very practical and yeah good good job they have done a very very good job and yeah you have a wireless charging panoramic roof that's very very rare in this segment okay most of the competitors do not uh, offer except for the proton x50 okay and the pricing of this thing would be between if it's full if it's full spec right you should reach around 160k if i am not wrong okay and to be honest with you good okay so after that they comes with the rear wheel drive um sorry the front wheel ri- drive as standard okay so the front wheel drive it is basic on the hrv but now what they've done is to make a bit more good suv uh, with a very good practicality and a very good function so what they do is they've done a very good job and yeah which is offering all wheel drive okay all wheel drive is is very very rare in this segment because this is focused for a practical family car but at the same time you can just slide through pass through hardcore off-roads okay not really hardcore it is not meant to be an off-road car or a SUV it is just a normal basic uh, thing and okay in terms of the engines the engines that it comes with is actually a, a 1.5 mile hybrid system which uses an electric motor okay and then it combines with it is a naturally aspirated engine and after that they have a two motors hybrid technology okay it is a- acceptable but we don't know yet what's the full details because honda has hasn't revealed this uh engine things okay so so far that's that the two engine and i hope in malaysian market you get the turbocharged engine the naturally aspirated is lethargic for the car okay uh, such as the 1.8 uh, liter any that we get now so and then full suit of Honda Sensing. This is the updated Honda Sensing. This is the newest. So, it will and the Civic will adapt the technology from the bezel or the HRV, okay, which is updated uh, lane keep assist, autonomous driving functions, auto brakings, lane departure warning, lane keep assist, that kind of blind spot warning system, safety systems. All is complete in this car, okay, and you have a panel roof as well. So, the facts. Uh, the facts is. Number one, it's a practical car. Number two, and capable of off-roading car. Okay, yeah, as I mentioned just now, and also the build quality. Okay, I haven't touched the panels yet. Okay, it is not officially launched still, but based on the picture, based on the looks, that looks good. Okay, they have been improved in that um, particular complaints all over the years. Okay, but we need to wait for all over six years to arrive to make a third generation HRV why maybe because they want a good they want to make a good vehicle that will last long okay this that's a HRV trademark I think so because this this when you look at it right it is really different okay and the fact that this is a very very good compact SUV okay so 
it is recommended yeah that's my facts and spec videos okay and now we're gonna jump to the end of the part conclusion okay the conclusion is the hrv is a good uh, family ride car good off-road car and it has all the sense that you want the power the technology that it has the safety system so everything is full packed that's the conclusion okay so thanks for watching and yeah thanks um thanks for your support subscribe button and thanks for watching guys